Hi everyone. Why we are calling IP plus MPLS? Do we need IP in order to run MPLS? Let's talk about this. In order to understand this, just let's remember what was the CEPEP in the case of MPLS, right? As you know, PE device provide edge devices which are connected to the customer. P device resides in the service provider or MPLS network, right? And they are only connected to the other P or PE device. P device definitely is not connected to customers. Just this, with this information, let's, let me continue to explain why we are calling IP MPLS. Why not only MPLS, right? IP MPLS because those PE devices need to reach each other, okay? And this is done through the uh, outer label. By the way, for the outer label also, we call uh, topmost label, okay, or outmost label, uh, tunnel label, transport label, outer label, all are the same. And those uh, labels, uh, that term, all those terms, is used only for PE to PE reachability. Of course, in order to reach from one PE to another PE, one provider edge devices to another provider edge device, you will go through other P devices, so on and so forth. But basically, in order to reach those PE devices, you need IP connectivity. In the case of IP MPLS, you need that information. But there are other MPLS applications like MPLS Transport Profile, MPLS TP, which you don't use IP as a control plane at all. You can have control plane in MPLS TP, but it is GMPLS, you don't need IP there. But why you need now IP for the MPLS, probably it is more clear. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching this video.